Hi everyone. In the previous classes, we have seen how to construct two-bit synchronous up counters using JK flop as well as T flop. Now, in this class, we'll try to see how to construct two-bit synchronous down counter. Uh, first, let us do it with uh, T flop. Um. T flop. I hope you understood this procedure, right? So, to construct any kind of synchronous circuit. Uh, synchronous counters you, you have to go with this particular processor so first step is you have to identify what kind of flip flops you are trying to use and then you need to construct the excitation table for it so excitation table for it is if you have qn and qn plus 1 what made the t right 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so this is latch state and 1 1 is the latch state and 0 1 and 1 0 are the toggle states once you write in the excitation table, you have to go with the state diagram. The state diagram is as per the given requirement, right? It's a kind of down counter. It's a kind of down counter, which means that with the help of two bits, how, how many possible values maximum you'll get? You'll get three, right? So 0, 1, 2, 3. So basically, if you write like 3, 2, 1, and 0, again followed by like this, right? Or in other terminals, if I write the same thing, Mm. Right. If you write in the form of bits, this will be 1 1, the next state will be 1 0, next state will be 0 1, next state will be 0 0, right? Yes, that's it. Right? 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1, right? Yes, very good, right? So, based on the state diagram, we can able to draw the circuit diagram for the excitation table from the excitation table. So, what you can do, you need to have the requirements as present state is one thing next state is another thing and another one is flip flop right so if you are going to have the present states are q2 and q1 q2 and q1 so if i say this is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 what might be the next states q2n and q1n so if i am going to have 0 0 as the input as a present state next state will be 1 1 if 0 1 as a present state what might be the next states 0 0 if 1 0 as the present state what will be the next state? 0, 1. If 1, 1 as the present state, 1, 1 as the present state, the next state will be 1, 0. 1, 0, right? Yes. Fine. So, from this, we can able to construct the respective flip flop. So, we need to have two flip flops, right? So, one is a T flip flop, another one is also a kind of T flip flop. So I hope you know the logic behind all this, right? If you would like to construct two-bit synchronous down counter or two-bit synchronous up counter, you need required to have two flip flops. Two flip flops, right? This is what we are seeing from the earlier class onwards. That's why I'm not re revising again and again to avoid the time wastes, right? So now let us try to draw the table so that you will get clear idea. What might be the T2? T2 you can able to get so from 0 1 so toggling and 0 0 it is 0 not toggling 1 0 toggling 1 1 not toggling similarly if I consider T1 so 0 1 toggling 1 0 toggling 0 1 toggling 1 0 toggling so this is the corresponding excitation table for it right so once you construct the excitation table you are going to get the T1 value as 1 right with the help of K maps what about the T2 T2 you are going to get, you can able to get by drawing the K maps 0, 1, 0, 1 and this will be the Q2 and this will be the Q1. This one you got because of uh, 0, 0, 1. So you have to write with respect to the present states, right? Yes. So for 0, 0 it will be 1, for 1, 0 it will be 1 and for the remaining thing it will be 0. So if you try to simplify this. Simplify this, you are going to get uh, Q1 bar. So T2 will be Q1 bar, guys. T2 will be Q1 bar. So finally, you have to draw the logic diagram. So if you try to take the two flip flops, one is LSB bit T1, LSB flip flop that is T1, another one is uh, T2. And for both of these, you are going to have a kind of uh, clock, synchronous clock. And what will the value of T1? T1 value is 1 as per our solving procedure. 
what will be the t2 t2 will be so this is q1 and this will be the q1 bar so t2 will be q1 bar q1 bar that's it right this is q2 and this will be the q2 bar right so this is the corresponding logic diagram for 2 bit synchronous down counter right similarly guys you can able to go with the uh, 3 bit synchronous down counter also right so how can you do this where you are going to have uh if if you are going to have 3 bits you are going to have 8 states you are going to have 8 states and you have to write down the logic for all those things and you can you can solve it easily right i hope you understood clearly thank you